wearing his trademark scarf in the colours of the nation he leads, in some eyes so controversially, this was a close escape for President Manangagwa. In the smoke and confusion, he was ushered to safety, apparently unscathed. But there were injuries to senior government figures, including the wife of his deputy. The president met her and other survivors and on social media said, we will not allow this cowardly act to get in our way as we move towards elections. The strongest response to violence is peace. Manangagwa came to power in November when the military moved against Robert Mugabe, Zimbabwe's leader since independence. Many called it a coup, so a keenly contested election next month is vital to confer legitimacy on a new government. Manangagwa had been addressing a rally in the second city of Bulawayo, an opposition stronghold. Some will blame the blast on rogue elements in the old regime. Certainly, Zimbabwe's path to democracy is now fraught with danger. John Ray, ITV News.